Ciao, everyone. We're back in Rome. I'm Father Reed. And here we are overlooking what remains, at least, of the Circus Maximus. And this place goes way back. Chariot races, you know, one of the Rome's most popular forms of entertainment. So the origins of the Circus Maximus go back to the 6th century BC when Tarquinius Precious, the fifth king of Rome, created a track here between the Palatine and the Aventine Hills. However, a fire in 31 BC, the first of three, destroyed the wooden structure. But it was rebuilt by Emperor Augustus, who added on an imperial box right over there on the Palatine Hill. A large obelisk from Heliopolis was added as a decoration. That obelisk, by the way, can now be found over at the center of Piazza del Popolo. Now, a second fire in 64 AD, which was started in the wooden shops near the bottom of the track, actually was the fire that began the great destruction of Rome during the reign of the Emperor Nero. And then, yet another fire in the circus totally destroyed it, but it was rebuilt by Trajan in 103 AD. Now, the Roman Empire then was at its height of power, and the new Circus Maximus reflected the status of the empire. It was now of stone construction. It was three stories high. The lower part of the cavia, or the seating area, was actually built in marble. And the arena complex was now more than 2,000 by 500 feet. The Circus Maximus was occasionally used for other things, events such as processions and gladiator combats. But on most days, chariots pulled by four horses were held here, and the races themselves were wildly popular with the people. They would be frantically supporting one of the four factions, red, white, green, or blue, representing summer, winter, spring, and autumn, respectively. And then bets were laid on one of the factions, and supporters of the different factions often clashed, sometimes resulting in deaths among the spectators. Sounds like lots of fun in ancient Rome. Well, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So the last race here at the Circus Maximus was held in 549 AD, almost a full millennium after the first races on this location. Today, as you can see, only the layout of the original circus can be seen as a large grassland. Like other beautiful structures in ancient Rome, most of the original uh, stone and metal was used as building material for medieval and Renaissance constructions. So there you have it, everyone. You've seen it. What remains, at least, of the Circus Maximus here in the eternal city of Rome. Ciao, amici. Ci vediamo presto.